all of this like leads to our last topic that I wanted to get into for the next few minutes. Um, an article that I read by Hannah jo- Georges. I think that's how you pronounce your name. If I'm butchering your name, I apologize. I she gave a shout out on the King's speech, though. So shout yeah, out. I mean, you know that that's yeah, Hannah. You made it. Not a lot of people make it. Though. That works. <laughs> <laughs> Um, The article is hip hop won't stop protecting alleged abusers. The industry has been proclaiming the importance of black lives while continuing to ignore the black woman. Uh, A summation of the article, she talks about um, rapper Fabulous's most recent run in with the law where he allegedly punched his um, punched his now wife, Emily Bustamante, in the mouth uh, seven times, broke her teeth. She had to have teeth replaced. Um, there was a whole thing where I think one of his children were, was recording it on 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 their cell phones, and the video leaked of the police coming and him fighting with actually with Emily's dad. He was on Hot ninety seven. I remember listening to the interview with Ebro. Ebro was very direct when it came to like his questions, but um, Fabulous didn't really reference the or apologize to his now wife. It was more so oh, referencing. They're married now? Yeah, they're married yeah. now. Oh wow! It's very convenient. Oh, no, no, no! You should have seen the rollout. They're married now. Yeah, the rollout was the rollout huge. was crazy. The rollout was, was huge. Every pick, you know, Fab drops picks and fits. Every pick was a his and hers fit for yeah. the next year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, yeah. the rollout was crazy. I never seen his wife or his fiance ever on his gram. And then, like, literally, like to rectify, like that's how he thought he can cover it up. He literally posted it every week. Yeah, you every both, week. Yeah, you both know I watch a lot of Love and Hip Hop yeah. throughout that's my life. Shit. Um. When she was on the first season, he refused to be on camera with her. Right. Like, he would never show up to anything, even if their kids were involved. Like, he would not show up to anything to be on camera with her. And like you said, like, the rollout was crazy. It was like him and her, like his and hers every single day Yo, on social it was media. Just sick rollout. Cause you um, never claimed Shorty. Yeah. And he never really apologized for it during two interviews with The Breakfast Club and with Ebro. Uh, he more so regretted being put in that position. And it seems like there's been no kind of like accountability mm-hmm. for this like hip-hop is just like kind of brushes under the rug and said fab is fab i don't bro i really really try to just focus on my lane um one night i was driving with my dad in the car and we see this guy and this girl arguing and he's in her face and i was like dad if he touches her, i'm jumping out the fucking car right we had the stoplight he shoves her so i'm like i'm like so quick to jump out the car the seatbelt still on so you know you got yanked Aww. so he was just like you can't make the statement without unbuckling you have to unbuckle as you hold on hold on in the in the superhero movies right the belt buckle <laughs> does not stop the hero and like another car is like stopping or whatever and the dude's like, yo, why the fuck the, every, these, all these cars are stopping for? And whatever. And my dad's like, yo, you need to chill out. You know, you can't put your hand on women. And, he, and the guy, like, comes up to the car. is like, what you said? What you said? And my dad was just like, you can't put your hand on. Like, my father seen it. And I was just like, I'm not going to have this dude pop off of the car because I want to save this black woman. Because yeah. clearly she don't even want to get saved. Yeah. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? That's the thing. And yeah. so, but that's another thing. And so this yeah. gets complicated because, like, I'm just like, Emily, you know, you're in this bad relationship, but Emily stays for whatever reason. Yes. You get what I'm saying? So if there's something where it's just like, sis, we have resources, whatever, you can't like, you know, save the world. You can't save the world. And it's just like the accountability thing is just like, well, if she doesn't want to press charges, if she doesn't want to file for him, the only thing I can do is unfollow. I was in a similar situation uh I either had to be like right out of high school or still in high school. It was probably like 17 or 18. It was me and two friends on the bu- on a bus. And this one guy was really in this girl's face and uh, like kind of like like grabbed her by the shoulders. So like me and my boys, like we walked up. We were like, hey, what's going on? Like you can't do that. You can't put your hands on a woman. This chick popped off on us. Yeah, bro. So it's never okay for a man to put his hands on a woman. And I feel like if you're in the position to have an impact – to you know to have that conversation where it can not get out of hand i I would say but it's hard like you just said like it's it's so hard and when it comes to hip-hop it's like if emily is not making a huge fuss about it right should the rest of the community great 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 but i think the rest of the community should we we should but it's just like but how far can it go if like to what extent to what i mean the thing is the thing no let me let me Backtrack. I need to be careful with my words here. Just because we see it doesn't make it right. Fact. Very true. And so understanding and outlining for the girls that come behind, right? The young girls in the future and even the older ones, highlighting like this is not healthy, this is not correct. 
but this is the life that she chose. But that starts from along, and and it's it gets to the point where it's like Emily probably, absolutely probably knows what that physical pain feels like. She lost teeth. Boom. But that but that physical pain to her doesn't match, you know, living in a two bedroom in in Forest Hills. We 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 can we can we can discuss. She's not gonna live that life. No, my thing is like to your like to your question is like what because you think that we should care. I think that we should care. Yeah, I really we like, should. And we I should. think that we should right. care. We right. should. I agree. We're on agreement. To what extent do we care? I think we care up to the extent that we can, that we're allowed to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. Holding accountable, what does that asking, look like? right. asking questions, saying, right. "Hey, Fab, like your music's great, great career. Like, what happened here? Like, have you gotten help?" Like what's go like what's, do we stop listening like, to like Fab's what's going music? on like how do we how do we make because we're fans so me mm-hmm. and your comments you're not reading the comments to see what Trevor no. Trevor Five said on Monday so how do we as fans mm-hmm. make an impact or show that we are not with this type of behavior how do we show hip hop that we don't condone beating our girls I mean there's only one way and that's in the in the like in the pocketbook yeah there's only one so it's in the pocketbook of the wallet right. that's it I, I, it's, it's like not it's like not going to the shows it's like there was a very long time that I didn't listen to any of Chris Brown's music. Right. Very long that, time. Was a, that was a movement. Ext- that extremely was a movement. long time. Because I saw that. I saw Rihanna's face. We could see that. That was, yeah. And I wasn't, was, I wasn't it was, it was hard. And to this point in time, it's hard for me to like look at Chris Brown and think of him as a man. Not just because of that, but because of the stuff with Karuchi, her having a restraining order, him stalking her. Yeah, he's a, um, you know, he's wild, wild case. Like wild the case. drugs that he uses. Like, and, but there are so many other women. Have you seen like comments under Chris Brown pictures? I take a beating. I take that beating. That's what that's what all the comments were after Rihanna got got beat up on her way yeah. to the Grammys. Yeah, it's like that, it, no, that, that screenshot that, that you had. The, inter- the, yeah. internet, the internet is a terrible place. The internet is no, no, a no, god but, awful but, but, place. But you have to understand it's 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 like it's a representative. House. It's like funhouse mirrors. Like somewhere in there, there's a there's a regular mirror, right? But you know that no two mirrors are the same, right? Right. And so we see things, you know, the big, low, high, low, whatever, fat, wise, skinny, whatever. And so that's what we're seeing. Like we're seeing the girls who are just like, we hate you, Chris Brown. And you see the woman. I love you, Chris Brown. Even when she's, he said something about like nappy hair or something like that. And Kelly Rowland was yeah. like, we love you, Chris Brown. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like Kelly, talk about the memo that you just missed. He said something colorist also. He said, he he said light skin. Yeah. yeah, Chris Brown. Chris Brown's yeah. wild, dog. He's a wild yeah. boy. And then, but but like a few albums ago, he did have something about dark skin women no, he on, on on the album. And then he and then like today, like fast forward, he's talking about colorism and stuff like that. And then Kelly Rowland is supporting him. And I'm like, girl, like with all the stuff that you said you've been through, this is not the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, Especially with goes back to it, right? Like knowing, reading the room, knowing the time, like we were talking about before with, the, with Tory Lanez, like reading the room and knowing that this is not the time to be. On any other side, yeah. So like, so like Kelly Rowland, like nah, bro. Like Chris Brown's clearly on the side supporting all types of African American women. So you, you know what I mean? We can't go in there picking and choosing and, and, and figuring out what side is the best side. Like we need to just all love for all, respect right. for all. Like not abusing all. Right? Mm. Doesn't make anyone better than anyone. You know what I mean? Like it's tough right now. Um, the last thing I'll get to um, in this article, they brought up Russell Simmons, and this is like a mm. This was a thing for me also when he was on the Breakfast Club, uh, and they had him on the Breakfast Club. I'll, I'll, I'll like quote um, a quote from the article. Uh, the author says, "It's just shocking that a credibly accused serial rapist was tapped by one of the biggest nationally syndicated black shows to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement." Um, there was a documentary on HBO Max that came out about the accusations surrounding uh, Russell Simmons. And his sexual abuse and rape and sexual harassment allegations. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not been. I haven't seen anybody sit down with Russell Simmons and really like give a definitive question <laughs> to these accusations. It kind of seems like he just left the country, went to Bali, <laughs> uh, like has has been meditating for the past like three or four years, and hasn't been like you know taken to task for some of these allegations. And it kind of you know brings up the same point. It's like in hip hop. Is it possible for these figures who kind of like Russell Simmons is like a Mount Rushmore type figure in hip hop? Is still? it? Huh? Is he still? I mean, yeah, yeah, think Rushmore, about, yeah, Rushmore. Because yeah. like, yeah, yeah, the slave owners on Rushmore. You right? You right? <laughs> 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 They're there. Yeah, you never miss. You like, you never miss a shot. Like you just, <laughs> you just like. Just all just from the free throw the line, two, always, three. indeed. Uh, but yeah, like, is there? Is there a way to actually like hold these guys accountable? And like, should we 
like the Breakfast Club or Hot 97 or Big Boy or any of these like figures who have risen to prominence that kind of like are the voices of our of our culture. Like, should they be held accountable? I think we hit them where it hurts. Hit them where it hurts. Because like what I, you're Russell Simmons. I'm Josh Cloud. Hey, bro, the way you're giving it up. It's not cool. It's not cool. Yeah. What do you think about that? Nothing. Because you don't care. Right, you're so far removed from what the public thinks. You're in a different bracket. So, like, if we the public want to make an impact, I feel like we the public, like, or we want to get our message across, we have to like either just stop supporting them. But you can't like the money's already bad. He's gone. Oh yeah, he's already the in. Money's gone. He's I no longer I mean, support Russ. Right, like right. I no longer like it's like at that moment. Like, at but that there's moment, nothing really to support. Like the money's in the bag and he's gone. So Literally, there's, there's like, there's so the, the only part, like, it, I can say if you say this about Fabulous, Tory Lanez, but like Mount Rushmore, like, they dead. Yeah, it's they're that, all dead. That so. etching is not coming out the mountain. Right. I mean, it can. You can it blow can. it up. Word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the last quotes: uh, "What we're seeing in the spate of collective voices of Black women who have been systematically exploited, abused, harassed, and pushed out is something that's long overdue." Um, society still does not hold black men irrespective of their social status accountable for their crimes against black women so then it's is it a black man of a certain status or a man of a certain status gets away with with this treatment status uh, everybody gives any, you anybody access. with status gets away with tre- it's money treatment. and violence yo i'm keep telling y'all that that money and violence combination um for power um and so like He's safe for now. I mean, we could say like, you know, Bill Bill Cosby or whatever, but like if no one cares about Russell Simmons, if mainstream doesn't care about Russell Simmons, mm-hmm. he can go about his way. He's quote unquote doing their job. You know, he's doing the job for them. Indeed. So, Absolutely. It doesn't matter. It is hard. It's hard to hold them accountable, even in the, in the case of Bill Cosby. He's already old and will be dead. You're right. For the old heads, it's hard. Yeah. It's in the next, know, but, but you know, in the, the, next power, 10 months. the power in him wasn't his existence. It was the shows and the impact the shows had in syndication. Indeed. That's what I'm looking at and realizing now. Absolutely. And that's why so you pull him, arrest him, and then take out the shows in syndication. And so this family structure and these ideals and um, ways of living that we used to see and um, help guided us are no longer there. And now you replace it with love and hip hop. 